they're back. Hey, how's it going everyone and welcome to another Warframe video. It looks like the Stalker Acolytes are back and this totally took me by surprise because contrary to popular belief, I actually don't sit around and browse the forums all day. I mostly just spend my time making videos for you guys. Anyway, this is awesome because now you have a chance to grab some of those event mods like Blood Rush, Body Count, Argon Scope, and so on. On top of that, these guys are actually super fun to fight and the closest thing I've had to a challenge in Warframe in a long time. So what do you need to know about this event? How do you participate? These are some questions you might be asking right now and lucky for you, I'm here to answer them. First off, if you just recently started playing Warframe, you need to know that the Stalker Acolytes are basically little edgy Stalker wannabes. And if you can win a fight against them, they have a chance of dropping some of the best mods in the game. Now notice I said win the fight, not kill them. These things have a ton of health, so much health in fact that it's highly unlikely you'll get the killing blow against them. That's because as a community, we're all working together collectively to fight these acolytes in real time. Every time you encounter one and do damage to it in a mission, it drops the global health of that acolyte. To participate in this event, all you really need to do is click this little icon on your alert menu in the star map. It'll show you a drop down menu of all the active acolytes at the moment as well as their health bars. On the far right, it shows you their location. The tricky part to this is that each acolyte's location will change over time. It's only when someone is playing a mission and randomly discovers the acolyte can it be fought until it eventually runs off to another planet. We'll repeat this process as a community until all of the acolytes are dead and we're sitting on heaps and heaps of amazing mods. So there are several different acolytes and if they do this the same way they did a while ago, they'll have a certain set of them for a few days then switch them out with another few and then we'll be able to fight the final challenger. Each of the acolytes has a different drop table and don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the last time this event rolled around, the final challenger had a chance to drop every mod from each of the acolytes. This was kind of like a last chance to get your rare mods sort of thing. One final tip is that if you're a new player to this game, don't try to face these things alone. They're actually really tough and you have to be able to dish out a bunch of damage to get them to go away. When you choose a mission with an acolyte in it, you'll need to do the mission as you normally would and as you progress through it, you'll eventually see that familiar screen flash as well as a transmission from the acolyte you're hunting. After this, it's only a matter of time before they show up and you get to fight them. Just make sure that if you're planning to go acolyte hunting, and if you're new to the game, that you use the buddy system. And that's about gonna do it for me today, ladies and Pokemans. I'm pretty excited about this event returning because the rewards from it are going to be awesome for you guys, and it's admittedly a lot of fun. We really get to work together as a community for this one, so yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you, and if it was, don't forget to support it with a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more Warframe content like this. Every time I get a new subscriber, I get a little closer to leaving this basement, and with the way things are going lately, I'm almost to that goal thanks to you guys. But until next time, I'm Bows Phoenix. I'll see you at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.